Brad Edition, welcome, happy day. That caravan in Mexico, all of those people must have been in the middle of Mexico on election day. I guess they had to vote by mail. Just say in California, California is a mess, has been for a long time, is getting to be messier and messier every day. Republicans, they used to be a force and now they're almost not even relevant anymore. And people on the left particularly are saying, aha, got you. You know, you guys, people are left wing now. That's not really what's happened. Let me share with you what's really happened. It's because the immigrants from other countries basically now control the vote. That's what's happened. Immigrants has transformed the state and its voting patterns. A number of blacks, Hispanics, and Asians have outnumbered white people now since 1998. Virtually all vote Democrats. It's official. The white liberals in California have given the state away and the new voters are rushing to make the state the same as the places that they came from. That's kind of what's happening here. That, when you take the old white liberal people who are so crooked they should sleep in grain elevators or augers, rather. I mean, these are bad folks, right? I mean, they count the votes wrong and improperly, illegally, and, and you put that into the mix that I've just described. And, and the people that have come from other countries, for some reason, I, I, I don't get it, but they want to be back to where they were kind of without going there. So they're gonna change the place they came to to escape that place into their place. Oh boy, I mean, you know, the left, they're just so full of, of stuff. I, I mean, people say the Republican Party is dying and even Arnold Schwarzenegger says that my party, the Republican Party, needs to claim issues of the Democrats, you know, issues from their agenda but then you become like Canada, where all the parties are the same. There is no conservative anymore other than by a label, because certainly they don't act that way. I mean, it's so sad. I, I mean, when you change the audience, you, you have to change the, the tune, your tune, and, and, you know, it's a different song. And, and that's what's been going on. And, and it started in Canada, now it's in California. And, and again, it's a very sad thing because eventually it will break because it can't work. But because someone has to keep paying for all the people who don't work and, and back to it can't work. There's the story. The backlog in Canada of asylum claims now uh, is touching 70,000 people. 70,000. And, and, you know, two years at least it, it's taking in Canada to, to have final decisions on these people. Who feeds them? They can't work because they don't have a visa, so, but they, they live okay. They have hotel rooms or houses. They, they have good meals. And, and we're back to that, that thing that I just described in, in California. It gets so far in, you can't change it. And, and uh, these people that are coming to Canada, they too want the country to be like the country that they didn't like and that they left. It's a ridiculous thing. It's kind of like when I was a kid growing up, I remember there was a cow that used to kick the crap out of her baby calves all of the time. And, and the calves would go away and my dad and other farmers would feed them milk out of a bottle and then you turn them loose and guess what? They went back to the mother cow and they got kicked again. They seem to like it, I don't know, but, but that's going on here from in the bigger picture. Uh, Elizabeth Warren, you know Pocahontas, the one I'm talking about, she said she's a Cherokee Indian and now it's proven that she's one slash 1,024 or something. You know what? I don't know. Maybe once she test drove a Jeep Cherokee. Hey, y'all come back. See ya.